Now, have you ever struggled to put a name to a face? Well, you're not the only one. A rare disorder causes some people to not recognize faces at all. Prosopognosia, also called face blindness, is a brain disorder in which people cannot recognize faces, sometimes even those of their own families. Sadie Vitovsky has more. If you met Dasha Reed on the street, you would probably not guess she suffered brain damage as a child. But you might notice something odd if upon second meeting, she did not recognize you. Face processing is especially dependent on the right temporal lobe. And so it's on the side here. Although she has generally recovered, Reed now suffers from prosopagnosia, or face blindness. With support from the National Science Foundation, psychologist Brad Duchesne and his collaborators at Dartmouth College are studying how people recognize and process faces. My main interest is trying to understand the organization of the normal brain. And we use these brains that um, have suffered brain damage to try to make inferences about the way the normal brain operates. Although acquired prosopagnosia was first formally described 150 years ago, it is rare and not well understood. Duchesne has gathered 20 participants with the disorder to create a database with results from a battery of tests. You ready? Mm -hmm. Like the famous faces task. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, John Travolta. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the chin, you can't deny the chin. They also test other aspects of perception and memory for objects. And so imagine that we find somebody who suffered brain damage and they can't recognize faces any longer, but they can still recognize cars in a parking lot and they can recognize scenes and things like that. What that suggests is that faces are processed by different mechanisms in the brain. Researchers look at the brain structure using MRI and test brain activity using functional MRI while patients look at faces or scenes. They are missing certain parts of the brain or they have damaged certain parts of the brain and we see that in MRI scans. And so if the part's not there, it can't act on anything. So we can make inferences on what that part does. We hope that by really developing an understanding of face processing itself, that'll provide us with sort of a, a model for understanding the way other parts of the brain work. Duchesne says his basic research on face blindness will not directly lead to any treatments, but Reed still wants to participate. With her help, researchers can better understand how we recognize the world and people around us. Sadie Witkowski, VOA News, Washington.